I'm gonna show you how to give a dog a bath. Step one, grab your animal. Like so. Step two, remove their collar or any type of clothing. Put it somewhere safe so you don't lose it. Step three, take them to the tub or any kind of place where they can bathe. Step four, grab a towel and place it on the floor outside of the tub. Sometimes I like to throw a towel in the dryer and have it dry because my dog likes to have a warm towel when she comes out of the bath. Tip, never use a hair dryer for your dog if they don't want it. Hair dryers can cause loss of hair because it burns their hair, burns skin, and, and they can become paranoid of loud Step noises. Five. Start warm water, not too hot though, and plug up the bathtub so it becomes a bath. If your dog is scared of the loud water noise, take them out. Fill up the tub and make sure the water level is not too high. Once the water level is at a pretty good temperature that is warm but not hot, put your dog into the go. water. Gently place them in the water. If you can, like, throw them in, they'll be scared and they'll fear that they are drowning. Have your dog become used to the water and pour water on them with your hand or a cup. Be careful not to get water in their ears or their eyes. Step seven, put dog shampoo on your dog. Don't use human shampoo because that might not be healthy for your dog's skin and coat. When you put it on them, be very gentle and start to scrub slightly. Also make sure to use dog shampoos because some dogs have allergic reactions to human shampoos. Like human shampoos are for humans and dog shampoos are for dogs. Keep scrubbing until you come to a great lather. For their tail, kind of just brush the soap on it. Almost like you're petting it. And scrub a lot behind the ears and on the neck. Because that's where usually their hair is thickest. Don't forget to scrub under the neck and under the body too. For their head and their ears, you have to be very careful. For their head, you're going to get a little bit of soap and just plop it on their head and just rub gently. You want to be very careful to not get soap in their eyes and the, that it doesn't drip down. For their ears, you're going to lightly get the outside of their ears and just brush it like it's the tail. Do not get soap or water in the inside of your dog's ears. That can cause ear infections and they really don't like it. Don't forget to scrub your dog's legs and feet. Everything counts. Once your dog has shampoo on them and it's pretty much scrub, wash it off and use conditioner if desired. I'm not going to use conditioner because she doesn't have a lot of hair. So I'm just going to carefully Pour water on her back and her head like that. And when you rinse off your dog's head, make sure you kind of push their head up with one hand and drop water on their head with the other hand. So first you just carefully, gently pour water on their back so they're not scared. And they might still have soap so you kind of just squeeze it out like that. Just like that. And keep pouring water on them until all the soap is gone. Don't forget to wash the bottom part of their body too. I'm going to use dog conditioner. I'll show you how to use it. I'm going to use dog shampoo. I decided to. So her hair has a nice soft coat. And she smells good too. 
So using conditioner is pretty much the same thing as using shampoo. Except you don't want to really, you really want it to soak into your dog. You don't want to kind of like scrub it out too much. And if you want your dog's hair to be very soft, just leave the conditioner in for like a few minutes. Once the conditioner has soaked for a few minutes, now it's time to rinse it off. Do rinse it off the same way that you rinse it off with the shampoo. Make sure you get every spot and you don't miss any hair or soap at all. I have placed a warm towel on the counter so when I take my dog out of the tub, she'll be ready now to Now it's time to take my dog out of the tub. Now she's fully rinsed and she's ready to get out. And here is my dog getting ready to dry. Most likely your dog will shake so be careful with the water splashing around. Rub them like this. And make sure you dry every part of them. Like I said, never use a hair dryer. It might be very bad for your dog. Comfort them and make sure that they're nice and warm. They're not scared either. Another good way to make your dog dry is to have them go outside and run around and air dry. If you don't want to do that, you can just hold, wrap them up and hold them, kind of like a baby. And that's how you wash your dog. Thanks for watching.